and hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze. Welcome to Counter-Strike. I'm here to answer the all-asked question of which is better, high DPI, low sensitivity, or low DPI and high sensitivity. And when I state those things, this means that you have to have an adjustable gaming mouse or an adjustable mouse that has a DPI setting. Like mine, I have a Mad Cat's wireless mouse, which, as you can see, I am spazzing out like crazy. Well, we're going to ignore that at the moment, um, because I've already got your attention with the fact of how this looks. But, moving on from that. So, if you do not have an adjustable DPI for your mice, or your mouse, this is not going to help you. The only thing that you can change is your in-game sensitivity, which you can find easily from here and going into your help and options and your keyboard and mouse, giving you your mouse sensitivity. This is the only thing you can mess with if you do not have an adjustable DPI mouse. I state this over and over again just in case if someone didn't hear me. So moving on from that, the uh, how it works is your DPI on your mouse is multiplied by the sensitivity in game, creating your overall sensitivity, which mine I've always been comfortable at 2000. So that's always been good for me, other than the aspect of how this looks right now. Um, we're going to actually switch this back to that. So this is a 2000 DPI. It's pretty normal, pretty standard. Everything's good. Um, I was just learning how the field of view thing works. So it works well for me. I'm able to aim and so forth and shoot things that I want to shoot. And I thought nothing of it until I started looking around at the stuff that's set online. And a lot of people say low DPI, high sensitivity is great, or high sensitivity, low, I mean high DPI, low sensitivity is great. Uh, here is the best way I have found to show how this works. So using what I was using before, which was that field of view, this actually adjusts how your field of view looks, I think. Uh, like I was messing around and found some cool little things here. So um, let's see what five is. I mean, whoop. I'm like zoomed all the way down. Let's actually set this to one. Boom. Wow. I am really zoomed in there. Uh, so let's find, I guess let's find the barrels. Where's the barrels? Oh, hello barrel. So this is a 2000 DPI zoomed all the way down. Like I have a super scope freaking uh, <laughs> USPS right now. So I can be like, bang, bang. Wow. Am I missing? Really? No, I'm not. Okay, it's actually hitting. Uh, so this is the UPS shooting all the way down long like a freaking op. But, so if you notice that when I'm moving, it's really, really jittery. And I mean super jittery. This is a 2000 overall sensitivity using a low DPI and a high sensitivity in game. If you notice that instead of moving smoothly, that is how it moves by moving slowly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference now by changing this by ta uh, first of all I'm going to change the sensitivity to one I'm going to tab out go over to my mouse which you'll see my little mouse here and we're going to crank this all the way up to a simple 2000 and apply going back into game that we have this still open we now have its 2000 sensitivity which now when we move it is now smooth, much smoother than it was before, which means with definitive proof right here that I still have an overall 2000 sensitivity, but by utilizing the DPI of the mouse versus the in-game sensitivity, you have a much smoother, more accurate perception of the game, making your accuracy increase because instead of like trying to aim here and then when you move it goes bonk 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 you actually can flick much better so you can see how well the movement works here and I'm gonna show you again by changing the sensitivity back to 5 and tapping back over to my mouse and dragging it back down to 400 find that back in the game Boop. And you can see that this is not anywhere near of smooth motion as it was before. 
I don't understand why my gun is on the ceiling, but I don't care. That's actually pretty darn cool. Um, so you can see the difference right there is that it's much better to have a high DPI and a one sensitivity on your game than it is to have a low DPI and a high sensitivity. This will give you more accurate results when you're shooting and moving your mouse so that way you don't end up missing like I have been doing horribly, horribly for my entire CSGO existence. Um, one thing that I did find online is it says do not reduce the sensitivity in game to less than one as it may have disastrous results. I didn't really experience disastrous results, but I found it much better still to leave it at the one sensitivity. All up to you. Play around with it, find the most ideal thing for you, but just again, so we're going to show you once. This is me moving to the left, moving to the right, and that's with a 2000 sensitivity with a 400 DPI and a 5 multiplier, or sensitivity in game. Now we go boop, and we're going to go back again. This is 400 with a 400. As you can see, that is like buttery smooth. But we're also going to change that back. So I'm going to continue my luxurious career at 2000. Because I believe that's going to be a heck of a lot better. So, I do hope this helped anyone out there in regards to deciding which is the better one. You can choose for yourself, and you can tell me below what you decided was better for you. Was the high DPI, low sensitivity better for you, or was the low DPI and the high sensitivity better for you? And if you have a video example, please link it below. I want to take a look at it, because I want to see other people's results. This is me running on a GTX 1070. I am at 1080p. 60 frames per second, you know, and that is what my resolution is. So I'm hoping that you can show me like 4K resolutions and otherwise that you play on and whether I was wrong and that different settings work for you. So again, I thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things that make me a happy camper, and I'll catch you guys next time in Counter-Strike.